Is this deck expensive? No, not compared to most decks. I, I think there's zero legendaries in this deck, so... Oh, interesting hand. Uh, this These kind of do the same thing. I'd, I'd rather do this. Um, anything in the Talent Priest is really good. I'm going to keep Acolyte, I think, to, to kill Mountain Giant, or at least to deal with it. Otherwise, this deck can't really deal with Mountain Giant. He plays Mountain Giant on his turn 4, I can play this on my turn 5. I need to draw Dragon before then. What if I do this? Because right now I don't have anything to buff Talon Priest with. I think I like keeping it like this still. Talon Priest gets better as you mulligan more aggressively for lower drops, so you have a target for it, but I don't think I can mulligan this away. It's not much difference between the three, 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 four. And coil is a thing, though. That's a pretty big difference, actually. You have so many cards, and you can tap before. He draws coil a lot. I think I'm gonna play talent priest here instead of going root. Potion is our OTK card in this matchup. Twilight Acolyte Potion together, even. Like, say, Void Lords. I can just steal it. Steal a 2 9 and then Divine Inner. It's really easy to kill them with it. Uh, so I don't want a Potion of Madness here. It's a good buff target. Should I even need a trade? If I don't trade, you can trade both for my other 3 4. But that's not the main threat. I think I like it because he's so like. Wait. It'd be 3-4. I'm okay against Hellfire or Defel. I like trading, because it's so likely he plays Giant here, and then if I don't trade, it, he gives double trade into this guy. Right, so he gets to kill kill one of my Talon Priests. If he plays Boundary here, it loses zero damage. Since I, I get to keep one of my guys alive, and then, so I don't actually lose any damage. <clears throat> you know what? We can Twilight Acolyte, Potion Fire, Inner Fire his giant right now even. I mean, obviously we won't do it right now because it's not lethal, but we could hit him for it with an 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, I, I already decided to act like I'm just trying to see what else I should do. Definitely not trade for a giant. I think I should trade for this guy. To play around Hellfire? It doesn't really play around it. Actually, I don't, I'm not going to trade for this guy. Okay, so... His giant's actually kind of liability here. Like, I can potion it in or fire next turn. If I draw Divine Spear, I can even do that. Oh, wait, I should have traded for it. I didn't realize he could just trade both, both of his guys from my 8 4. That's. I mean, I'm not sure. That's still, like, it's kind of weird for him. I think AoE happens a lot. Uh. It's 7 health. I can make a 14-14 with heal. Or I can make a 12-12 by playing Glimmer Root. He's playing Prince. Unlikely I have Breaker. I'm kind of tempted to just heal and go for it. If I do this, then he does like some value trade. Cubes his guy. Then from there, we just lose. We can double the 6 to 12 12 and hit him, but we don't win the race at that point. Then his cube just kills us. I think I'm going to go for it here immediately. I think the Prince 3 gave it away his list a little bit. It means that I don't expect 
siphon maybe breaker but one breaker if, if zero maybe like this is only because if he cubes here he stills a turn before he can react yeah, he has a breaker We really want to kill this Doom Guard somehow. I guess. Hmm, Quell, huh? This, this is a higher chance to get Quell than this. Radiant's a little bit less important when we already kind of used their combo. It's a good card to see. This game's not over. Oh, yes. They'll serve me now. I have one more Twilight Acolyte for some. and one more Inner Fire. How, do, do I want to kill the Doom Guard here with Potion? I can see a lot of different lines here. Maybe even Potion go face, and then if he cubes Doom Guard, I can silence it. If he has cube and void lord, I probably can't win now, because I have to silence the cube and then I lose the void lord. But I'd rather play like the hold potion and hope I can OTK him somehow to kind of give up the board or something. It's not a lot of healing for him left, I think. I didn't steal anything, right? I, I stole a 2 1 non demon, so I can't get back a Doom Guard. Hmm. I don't really need to make this a 5 8, it doesn't change much. I could play Umbra and just go face and use it as a body, and then. He plays Void Lord, trades for Umbra, Divine Inner, 8. You know, actually, this is an exact lethal calculation. It shifts a little bit over. If he trades here, plays Void Lord, we, and, and we get Inner Fire, we could kill him next turn. Science the Void Lord, Powered Shield, Divine Inner, 8, 16 damage. I don't even need this guy. I have two over lethal if he does that, with the, with the 2 1 up extra. If I didn't get this, I would still have lethal, I guess. I, 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 my 2 1 didn't even attack last turn, I calculated that. If the 2 1 already attacked, I, like, I already have the minion. I didn't really need to get this guy, but. I mean, Gold Dance not good. That's, it's not just about what it does, the 5 armor good hero powers, it's the turn. I did spend my entire turn doing that. 10 mana do nothing, pretty much.
If I get inner fire heal 7, 14, 15, 16. We have to go for it. I mean, technically, the powered shield into inner fire is lethal. That's 1 in 13. I think my chances are okay doing it. Better than taking that line. The important thing here is to not use my silence. Oh no! I lost. Never mind. Oh, I messed up. I lost. If I don't silence, you can just trade double cube. I mean, double doom guard, right? I thought my guy was bigger for some reason. You couldn't do that. And for some reason, I thought you couldn't suicide this. So now I just lost for sure. I need to go for the part shield because I just lose the top now. Yeah, maybe I'm not sure. I don't think I can ever be gold dance. It's not worth thinking about. But I think I just tack dustbreaker going from here. probably has Gul'dan actually. He just didn't have any taunts and it wasn't enough to kill the operative. Or maybe it was. He might have messed up. He didn't need to do that. If he had Gul'dan he could just summon two Doom Guards. I think it was 14 to 14, right? So he could have just traded Cube and double Doom Guard for it last turn. Maybe he doesn't have Gul'dan. Oh, he doesn't. Nice, nice. I still wanted this line even though I thought I couldn't win against Void Lord. Twilight against Rogue is mostly past turn 5, where against Cobol, it's not too good early. Against like 3 threes and stuff and 1, one attack minions. I like keeping Radiant with Cleric, because oftentimes when you play Cleric, they don't play anything, because they don't want to give you a draw. Uh, and it allows you to curve out turn 2 after after turn 1. Just to get his backstab. At least I have a chance here. Hope he doesn't have a second backstab. Even if he has coin captain, it's not enough to kill Radiant. I just want to stick a minion for Talon Priest. Like, if this survives a Talon Priest, it's a huge. It's really huge for me. Uh, SI kills it too, huh? Um, okay. Our first priority is to get something that wins a trade and then nourish our heal. So it looks like it'll be this turn. Although the problem with this line is Nourish Shard just dies. Let's see what else can I do? Dustbreaker here. Or is Twilight Drake just better? Twilight Drake's only a 4-4. Four, four. This is a 3-3 three, three and I get to I mean, Dustbreaker is better than Twilight Drake. There's no doubt about that. That forces hero power. It's hard for him to hero power and have a two drop. So I want to play a four drop. I, I really like Dustbreaker actually. It's like a forcing move because he doesn't want to leave up a three one. Whereas the other play the cleric, he can play a four drop and naturally trade for the cleric with a three three. I still have an okay shot at North Sharing next turn, healing something. Play small minions here with the last two mana. If not, I can just play Drake. Just my last dragon for Twilight Acolyte. I don't think I'm playing Cleric here because I need the draw real bad. Um, let's see, if he plays Cobalt and I don't have the Dragon Swapper, it's a problem. What if I just play Radiant here? I, that, that gives me 5 attack to kill Koval. And I can swap it with Acolyte and double trade. Play Twilight Drake plays Koval as a disaster, right? Oh, I also topped like a dragon. I kind of like that line. 
I'm even thinking of just playing Cleric. I don't know why. I mean, if he has a second back, that was bad. For the most part, he can't kill it. Spellbreaker. Let's not play it. I need the card draw. He might be running Curator in his list. Fudging makes Cobalt even more likely, because it makes him more likely to use the Curator list. Although I don't really see why I put playing Curator with Elven Minstrel anymore. Maybe it's just Rings Fudgling. Maybe I just swap here, because I take the value trade. Yeah, I have to swap here, it's too good. He has a swash card and a flame elemental. I want to clear for turn seven. Also, I also have inner fire. Divine, divine inner fire. Shadow visions, divine. Okay, so. Six. 12, 15. No, it's three off lethal. Can I at least start with this. Like, if I draw something, I might be able to go for it. Alright. Set up for next turn kill. Clear everything for Bone Mirror. I'm gonna come out of Last Dragon, just go for the next turn kill. Like, this is this is it for me, pretty much. It's the max health of this. Six. Six plus seven. No, no, it's twelve plus seven. Heal. Yeah, that's lethal. I should have saved the Potion of Madness still. I think it was wrong to use that they're overvalued on my board too much. I didn't pick anyone for World Championships. Yeah, I'm on NA right now. This is a really nice hand against Rude. I, oh wow, really nice. I've actually been not hitting like Cleric, Radiant, Town Priest, most of the early game stuff against Druid these last games, like so far this stream. I've been mostly just like passing turn one, turn two. It's really good to hit it. I'm gonna wait for this Inner Fire for next turn. Town Priest, Inner Fire, I get 6 6 Cleric next turn. Even with Twilight Drake, I'm still playing Inner Fire. Probably better not to play him, just do something like heal something when he plays a minion, play an operative on 5. We'll see. I can still play Twilight Drake as a 4-3 or something. I don't know. If he plays minions, I'd probably trade heal. No Glimmer Root. Again, because of Plague, right? I'm not trying to get wider and wider and wider. This is already buffed. Maybe I buff something else so that if I get a second air fire, like going from 6 8, like if buff it to 6 8, then it goes 8 8. I, th I think I buffed Cleric though, because it's just 6 is so valuable that any health on it, I don't need to enter fire it again. It's just, you know, 6 6, 6 8, 6 10. It's all really scary for him. Right away. 
he actually needs to like swipe and jade jasper spellstone so it still helps to have more life Trade Dustbreaker? Five. It's not lethal even if we get that guy. Hmm. I'm strongly considering trading here and Dustbreakering. Hit him for six. They have a six, nine, and a three, three over the operative because of plague actually no okay it's a little bit too much of a negative value play because i'm killing like two of my own minions too 